How to use the Crop Image Editor. Here's a collection of my photos. Select an image with a right click, then Properties. The EXIF data displays for each image. Images and video can be placed in any of the video tracks, singly or as a group. To group, click the first image, hold the shift key, click the last. All are highlighted, now left click and drag down. Images used in the tracks have a green check mark. Good, we're now ready for the crop image editor. Highlight an image in a video track. Select the crop image button. Up pops the crop image editor. Tools and placement are identifiable in the crop image interface. On the left we have preview and selective options, and the working space on the right. I'm going to click and move the croppable area around. By positioning the cursor in the crop area and click and drag. Shift and shape the crop area by placing the cursor over the corner or middle marker and click and move. It's important to be familiar with all the buttons, so play and click them. Reposition the area. Reshape it in freeform. I'm enjoying the freedom to move the crop area. Hey, this is fun, simple and easy. Great, now you have a go. Click the Aspect Ratio button to bring everything back to 16.9. We're editing photos with the dimensions of 4000 by 3000 pixels. To use crop size, either highlight the pixel numbers displayed and then type in others, or use the counter up down controls. Use custom settings to resize the frame's aspect ratio to non-standard sizes. Reposition the crop frame using click and move. No, I don't want the blue barrel boy. Yes, that's where I want the crop. Expand a bit more. See, the barrel's gone. <laughs> yes, I've improved the look of my photo. All the settings are what I want. Select OK and the importing media function starts. A replacement crop image file is being created. It's a quick process. The green check mark has moved to the replacement cropped image. The replacement ping files are stored in the My Document Cyberlink folders. Some tasks will be shown in other tutorials. The aim is to add a few transitions between the images. Use click and drag to bring one transition down. Using produce is for another tutorial. Sorry, not for now. The library displays the ping and the original. Crop Image Editor is a great tool, ideal for the task. You should now be ready to have a go. I found it really cool.